So obviously, as you guys know, they're making Mortal Kombat 2, and that's in the works. And we had uh, one of the producers of the Mortal Kombat movie who's on set every day. He's been teasing us nonstop with little images of the movie. So up here, you obviously have uh, the marker of when they started filming. They started filming before the uh, Hollywood strike, but then they had to stop when the strike happened. And now they got back into the groove of things, and I'm sure they're, they're wrapping up now. But uh, let me go back to some of the more interesting photos because uh, it feels like every day he, he's been dropping a photo just of interesting things. And it's just a lot of like behind the scenes stuff, like things you can't really make anything out of. Let me see. Like here, just a rope from the tournament and all that a bunch of green screens, some nice props and stuff like that in the background. Like we have this dead person, which I'm thinking this is the the underworld. Or I forget what it what it's freaking called in in in, uh, in Mortal Kombat, but that and then because a lot of people who died in the first movie are coming back, so they're definitely going to Mortal Kombat's version of Hell to bring them out like they do in the games. Uh, all right, but let's get into the more juicy images they recently revealed. So for one, okay, we have these. So these right here are definitely uh, like Katana's blades. I think she's gonna be part of it this time around. See here, like. Yeah, see, so you have people with the gifs and all that. Ooh, uh, Katana wins. That's so cool. So she's going to be getting her classic outfit. That's going to be awesome. We got that. And then we were given what, like, really how hyped me up. Freaking Shao Kahn's hammer. Ah! Dude, this thing looks great. And it's huge. And you know he's the main villain uh, uh, of this. It's about time. We saw, I believe there was a, a whatchamacallit, a, a, a statue of him in the first movie, but now he's definitely going to be head center of the tournament and his hammer here. Dude, they got the details on this looking gorgeous. I can't wait to see him swing this around and see who he mashes his head with. Because remember, this franchise is still rated R. This franchise is rated R, so it's going to be pulling no punches, and I love that. But, like, the image that recently got me the craziest hype, Carl Urban's belt buckle as Johnny Cage right here. Now, as you guys remember... Carl Urban was cast as Johnny Cage, and that was definitely the shock heard around the world for Mortal Kombat fans. Because, look, I like Carl Urban. I definitely think he's a great actor, talented. Oh, here, let me go. Here we got a bunch of his roles that he's been in from The Boys, Star Trek, Thor Ragnarok. Oh, he's, a, he's definitely a good actor. But nowhere did I ever think he was Johnny Cage material, right? Johnny Cage is supposed to be this almost obnoxious Ryan Reynolds kind of character where he's like, you know, very egotistical, self-centered. He's my favorite Mortal Kombat character because I love the movie star aspect of it. And he was inspired by Jean-Claude Van Damme, if you know him. Uh, and I was like, when, he, when Carl Urban was announced, I was just like, Ugh. okay, we'll see how it goes. And he even, like, dyed his hair. <laughs> Let me see if I can find it. Because we did have him on set. Yeah, see, right here. He dyed his hair. He's got them frost tips. <laughs> Even shaved his beard, so he looks a little different. They're definitely going within the games. They have a, an older version of Johnny Cage, who's like a washed-out star. He's like not getting as many movie roles anymore. He doesn't know what to do with his life. And here you can even see the belt buckle. This is Cage. Uh, yeah, see, this is the version of it in the games where he's like a little bit older. And I feel like that's the version they're going with. I mean, like, dude, I, it's so crazy how a shave of a beard changes him. Look how skinny he looks. <laughs> he like it like I see him all the time in the boys, and he does not look that small. So it's funny to see him like this and what he's gonna end up looking like in full costume. Because this is obviously him, I think, just chilling back set, not really in costume yet. But here's an idea of what he's gonna look like. It looks like he's wearing some sort of muscle shirt. He's got his big old cage buckle right there, some black pants. This is going to be awesome. Uh, that trailer is going to blow us all away. Uh, we had here another look. Uh, I forget. Uh, who character is she playing? Oh, the okay. She's her. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. So we got her face. Uh, finally, they show somebody, Jade. <laughs> all right. And then I think that's it for, like, interesting photos. But it's still, it's just, it's coming. It's coming along. And that was just, like, the biggest photo for me where I was like, please. Knock it out as Johnny Cage. Knock it out. So, yeah, guys. that that That's it right now. I can't wait to see it. He's more... He, yeah, you're right. If Carl Urban was definitely more of a Kano. But I like the guy who they got as Kano in the last movie. And he's coming back for this one. 
So that'll be good. Danny DeVito from Mortal Kombat 1. What about Quang Chi? I don't think they've given us a tease. This must be the Quang Chi photo. I feel like this is Quang Chi's photo. Yeah, see? This is Quang Chi. They do have an actor. I forget who's playing him. Let me see. Quang Chi. Mortal Kombat movie. Uh, Who'd they cast? Uh, No, that's not him. They did cast an actor. It was like a British dude, I remember. But yeah, he's going to be in the movie, and like again, it makes sense, because a lot of dead people from the first movie are coming back, and most likely Quan Chi's re- resurrecting them, and all that to be part of the tournament. That's going to be awesome. I can't wait. I can't wait. All right, what are the topics we got to discuss here, guys? 